Hello everyone, my name is Miss Molly and I work with the Fort Worth Public Library. Let's get started with our hello song. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. All right, now let's try that together in ASL or American Sign Language. We're going to wave hello. Our two fingers are going to hug because they're friends. We're going to point to our wrist for its time, take our finger away from our chin to say, and then we're going to wave hello again. Ready to try together? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good, everyone. Do we want to try it again in Spanish? We're going to say hola for hello, amigos for friends, es tiempo for it's time, de decir to say hola. Are we ready? Hola amigos, hola amigos, hola amigos, es tiempo de decir hola. Muy bien. Today, we're going to be talking about all different types of weather. Our first book today is called Sunny by Celia Crampin. Most people would not like rainy days. Most people would say there's nothing good about trudging to school on a rainy day with the wind up your sleeve and puddles soaking your boots, making your footsteps squish and squash. That is what most people would say. But not Sunny. Sunny thought this day was a perfect day to use her big yellow umbrella. And it was. until a big gust of wind came along. Now, most people would say that being pulled through the air by an umbrella was a bad sort of situation, but not Sunny, who felt like she was a bird flying high above the little town below. But soon, the town below was replaced by a stormy sea. Now, most people would agree that being blown out to sea was an awful, terrible sort of situation. But not Sunny, who liked watching the white capped waves rolling and tumbling one after another. Then the sea started to get a little too close. Down, down, down she fell. But she's at a boat. Now, being trapped on a small boat adrift on a stormy sea is what most people would call a horrible, dreadful, and ghastly sort of situation, but not Sunny, who thought she preferred boating now to swimming. That's when a big wave came. Now, most people would say that they were looking extremely bleak that being stuck on a rock, in a boat, surrounded by a stormy sea, was probably as bad as things could get. But not Sunny, who thought things weren't as bad because at least she wasn't alone. But then she was. Now, most people would probably cry at this point I know I would. And that is exactly what Sunny did. But then, 
her bird came back and it brought friends. And all together they helped bring up that boat. Up, up, up she rose. She was lifted off the rock over a less stormy sea, over the little town, and sat down right where she needed to be. Now, most people would say that being late for school was a bad kind of situation, but not Sunny. She thought that this one time, her teacher would understand. <laughs> what a wonderful story that was. I can't imagine having such a wonderful adventure like Sunny. I'm glad everything worked out for her. Now, let's go ahead and stand up. We're gonna do a little bit of movement, so make sure that you have a little bit of wiggle room around for you. All right, follow along with me as we go from our toes to our head. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh no, it's up to my toes. But it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh gee, it's up to my knees. But it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh my, it's up to my thighs. But it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh fiddle, it's up to my middle. But it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh heck, it's up to my neck. But it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh, dread, it's up to my head. I'm just gonna swim on home. All right, the next story that I have for you today is called When It Starts to Snow. And it's by Phyllis Gershader and illustrated by Martin Maggi. What if it starts to snow? What do you do? Where do you go? I creep into the house, says the mouse. Cold winds blow when it starts to snow. I sit by the window, says the cat. Big eyes glow when it starts to snow. I keep watch, says the shiny black crow. Ka, 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 when it starts to snow. I look for seeds, says the sparrow. Peck, 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 when it starts to snow. What if it starts to snow? What do you do? Where do you go? We fly south, says the geese, all in a row. Honk, 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 when it starts to snow. I build a lodge, says the beaver. The work is slow. Chop, 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 when it starts to snow. The water is chilly, says the fish. It's best to lie low. Swish, shh, shh, when it starts to snow. I go to the barn, says the pig. If it's too cold to hoe, when it starts to snow. I wait for the farmer, says the cow. He's coming, I know. Moo, 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 when it starts to snow. What if it starts to snow? What do you do? Where do you go? I hide my eggs, says the hen, so the chicks can grow. Cluck, 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 when it starts to snow. I fly up high, 
Oz, says the rooster. Listen to me crow. cock a doodle doo when it starts to snow. I stay here, says the worm. It's warm down below. Wiggle dig dig when it starts to snow. What if it starts to snow? What do you do? Where do you go? I wear a new coat, says the stoat. A king from head to toe. White winter fur when it starts to snow. I follow the turtle, says the frog. Down into the mud I go. Peep, 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 when it starts to snow. I look for a place, says the deer, where the moss and grass grow. Leap, leap, run, when it starts to snow. I dive down the hill, says the otter. I go with the flow. Slip, slip, slide when it starts to snow. Look, says the black bear. The snow is deep. Hurry, scurry, time to sleep. Everyone's going where they need to go. Bat in a cave, snake in a rock pile, raccoon in a log, squirrel in a hollow, mole in a tunnel, rabbit in a hole, wolf in the den, chipmunk in the burrow. Snow on the roof, snow on the ground, brand new snow coming down, coming down. I can't sleep when the snow wants to play. Three cheers for snow. Hip, hip, hooray. All right, everyone. So we're gonna try something a little bit different this time so you can stay seated. Sometimes when the weather changes very fast, it can be a little scary. Sometimes it's a very loud thunderstorm. Or maybe we're just sad that we can't go outside to play. So together, let's find a way to calm down. We're gonna take a really deep breath in. So let's spread our arms out wide, almost like an airplane. And we're gonna take four quick deep breaths in and we're gonna raise our arms. Ready? We're gonna go. And then we're gonna wiggle it down. You wanna do it again? Put your arms out wide and we're gonna take four quick deep breaths in. And then wiggle it down and release. This helps us to stay calm. The next one I wanna do, we're gonna pretend like we're a little bee and this is for when we're scared. We're gonna cover our eyes, take a quick breath in. And then we're gonna hum like a bee. You wanna do it again? Maybe even flap your arms like if you're buzzing around. So cover your eyes, take a quick deep breath, and hum it out. <laughs> and then maybe the loud sounds won't be so loud anymore. Another one we can do is the bunny. So make your little bunny paws, take two quick deep breaths, and then bounce around. <laughs> Wanna try it again? Put your little bunny paws out, take a deep breath, and another one, and then bounce out. Try them anytime you feel happy, sad, maybe even a little bit scared. The last story I have for you today is called The Weather Girls by Aki. First, let's meet all of our weather girls. We have 
Laura, Miffy, Annie, Rebecca, Jane, Vanessa, June, Melanie, Sarah, Kathleen, Lucy, Zoe, Kirsten, Tilly, Joy, and Emily. It's summertime. We rise and shine. All set to go, we form a line. A big bright sun, let's have some fun. We swim and dive and splash and run. Lush green forest, fresh clean air. Look at all the creatures there. See a bear, a little tiny fox over here. Fall is windy in the city. The trees are gold and red and pretty. It's time for sweaters and for fun. Through fallen leaves we run and run. We hop on bikes and ride and ride. We pick apples side by side. Winter time brings lots of snow. Burr, burr, girls, let's go, go, go. Through a blizzard, climb and climb. The mountain's tall, it takes some time. The snow has stopped and we do too. The sky is big and bright and blue. Spring is springing through the trees. We can feel the gentle breeze. A big balloon, hooray, hooray! Up we go, we float away. Strong winds blow, we fly, fly, fly. Now look up, a rainbow sky. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get our craft sacks out for today's activity. If you don't have a craft sack, you can request one from any of your Fort Worth Public Libraries. Or you can do this activity using materials found around your house. For today's activity, you're going to need a half a paper plate, tissue paper, cotton balls, and glue dots. Or you can use tape or glue sticks for this craft. For today's activity, we're going to be making our very own rainbow. So take the paper plate and a little bit of your tissue paper. And we're going to create the colorful, colorful rainbow. Place the tissue paper wherever you like. Would you like small ones or big ones? Do you wanna make it messy or very, very neat? It's all up to you. I want this one a little bit smaller, so I'm just gonna rip this one. Maybe rip this one too, because I want two of this color. And just make it your own. Have fun with it, be creative. Everybody's rainbow is going to look a little bit different, and that's okay, because that's what makes it special. All right. 
using a piece of tape, I'm going to put them all down. You can use your glue dots for this as well. Next, I'm going to take some of our glue dots and I'll place it on top of our tissue paper that we just put down. And then I'm going to take our cotton balls and I'll place them on top of the glue dots. That way they stick to the paper plate. And then I'm just going to lightly spread the cotton balls out, make them nice and fluffy so they look like clouds. And if some of them start to come off, we can use some glue or tape or if you have any extra glue dots to help them stay on. And this is what my rainbow looks like. Wow, I can't wait to see what everybody's rainbows looks like. If you want, you can tag us using the hashtag my FWPL to show me all your fun creations. All right, friends, that's all the time that we have for today. So let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song. It's a lot like our hello song, but we're going to say goodbye instead of hello. Are we ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Very good. Now, let's try that again in American Sign Language. This time we're going to wave goodbye. Our two friends are going to hug. We're going to point to our wrist for its time. Bring our finger away from our chin to say, and then we're gonna wave goodbye again. Are you ready to try it together? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Very good. Let's try that one more time in Spanish. We're going to say adios for goodbye, amigos for friends. Es tiempo, it's time, de decir, to say adios. Ready? Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Es tiempo de decir adios. Goodbye, friends. See you next time.